From a bird's eye view, the economy organizes the flow of human activity. Goods and services circulate throughout society to satisfy human needs and wants. And we created money to facilitate that flow. The circulatory system is a good metaphor for the financial and monetary system. You know, blood carries nutrients to all parts of the body. And the purpose of a monetary system is to carry value to where it's needed. The language of the financial system is hydraulics. Liquidity and the, the valves and the pressures and velocity of money, all of these things are about a fluid flowing through a very complicated plumbing. And when we talk about currency, if you think about that word, it's an interesting word. It's about flow. It's about a current. It comes from the Hebrew verb, lazuz, to circulate. Money was never meant to be hoarded or amassed. It was meant to circulate as a way of uplifting the community. It used to be realized by every community that anthropologists tell us this and, and, and students of economic history tell us this, that in local communities, and you still find this in many indigenous cultures across the world, the, the expression of exchange between people reflected not only their regard for each other, but it reflected the intrinsic worth of that object as uh, coming from the earth and also as being blessed by a godhead or a spiritual principle that honored the community and honored those two individuals who were making that exchange. In many ways, I think money has become a substitute for kinship, a substitute for uh, a felt sense of reciprocity and interrelatedness that human beings had for thousands of years before the invention of money. The structure of societies in the past, their emphasis was on art, pleasure, culture, spirituality, family, etc. And money was just one of the multitudes of, of the things that they concentrate. Never before in history, never before in history, has money taken such center stage.